Hello, this is CyberElf El Piso, and welcome to my Battle Network 2 single segment speed learning tutorial. We will cover each scenario of the game in order with the objective of lowering entry barriers to speed running the game. While much of the guide focuses on techniques exclusive to Battle Network 2, other principles such as Zenny management, collecting pieces of chip combinations to save time on fights later, and folder building will serve runners well in running most games of the series. Now step with me to the first chapter. The Airman chapter objectives of this scenario are to navigate the net efficiently, collect resources, mainly in the form of battle chips useful later in the game, and most importantly, save our friend Yai. Skip a couple cutscenes. By holding start, now we run to the left lower corner of the room, talk to Dex, skip another cutscene, go down, talk to him a second time. Now we go to Lan's house, talk to his mom, and then head to his room to skip cutscene. Once after we skip, we don't have to move to log in. Hold start to go into the tutorial. Pressing B gets rid of the arrows. Once you finish a fight, the reward screen does not come up during these. So as soon as the last Metar explodes, you can hold start to go straight into the next fight. You'll see me moving back and forth while firing the buster. This is a technique called step canceling. It cancels the animation of the buster, allowing us to fire faster. Because this is possible, we will never invest in speed upgrades on the buster. Skip a couple cutscenes. Now while we're running through den area, the objective is to collect some guard stars. We need guards and we need dashes. This fight is not good for guard stars. Sometimes we will collect more, select more chips than we need. The point is to try and get custom style. We collect a bug frag here. We collect eight or nine through the run, depending on runner preference. The way we try for guard star is we do not double delete. We move a bunch of times, we wait until the gauge is past the M, and we get hit once. This all adds up to a buster rank of 6, unfortunately we got money there. That's half a sneak run, but ideally we wanted a guard star. If we don't get them in our first three passes through the net, we shoot for them when we're in the doghouse.
At this point, we're too low of a level to run, really, from any fights on the first turn. So we simply delete the viruses. We collect our second bug frag. We'll run in and skip a cutscene. Go talk to this green navvy. And now, we're in the phase of the Z license. I almost forgot a bug frag here. Now we jack out because the second data is much closer to Land's PC than the square. This cuts down on backtracking. It also refills our health, which helps in our chances of trying to get Guard Star because if we drop below 70 HP, and we escape, there's no drops that we really want from cannons. If we drop below 70 HP, the drop table for those fights changes. And we don't want a health refill. We have our first guard star, which is good. That means that that's one we don't have to try and collect from the doghouse. We only need two or three guard stars for the run. You can run with one. It is not recommended. Buy a sneak run. We jack out, skip a cutscene. Now we go to the doghouse to try and collect dashes. We need guard, we need dash G or dash star. The first chips that we replace are recov tents. These are dead chips. And we sort by attack, because the game favors drawing chips that are close to the top of your deck. Dash D is not 
great. However, we put it in the folder anyway as it increases the chances of good things happening later. So now, RNG is being stingy with its drops. On S rank, we have a chance to get dash star. That's what we want. Rank 9 and rank 7 have chances for dash G. J, D are codes that we don't want, however... I messed up my setup there. I got it the first fight, but... I will be linking a tutorial by Dallas about fishy setups and how you can kill them with swords. It's a little easier to get S ranks on them. Here I will be trying for a third guard star. We get Zenny, not great. Our draws there sucked, so we just escape. That's a sneak run. Bad RNG for chip drops is why many people in Team Battle Network will say the doghouse is where good runs go to die. We will try for the third guard star. Normally in single segment you don't load saves. But when you're starting out running, and single segment is the route that this follows. Uh, also here, you cannot simply dash the fishies. Otherwise, you will get hit. 
All right, that is one chip that we need. After recuff tens, I tend to replace shotguns. What we want in our folder are the codes B and G. Star doesn't really count. Unfortunately, that's Zenny. Rank 9, it didn't give us dash G. This fight, we don't really care. We already have all of our guard stars. We do not use shockwaves. Not only is their damage pathetic in this game, it's been nerfed, but also... Bad for folder flow. All I need is a dash G now, or a dash star. Game's not giving those to me, but... If this were an actual speedrun, I would have probably reset at this stage. However, because it's a tutorial, we can chill out here for a little bit. We already have all of those, so that fight was literally just timed down the drain, because our opening draw was not kind.
We will reg a guard star. A long time ago, runners used to alternate between attack, attack plus 10 or guard star as their red chip. Neither one is very good. Or, well, attack plus 10 isn't very good. Go over, jack in here. Dodging the gas clouds is a, in this area is a matter of experience. We don't worry about that first one. Get too close, that happens. Go over here, Ash B, skip the cutscenes. Now we go to the next area. Also, get intentionally hit by a gas cloud in order. Get this. Now, we use the sneak run we picked up. Requires 120 base HP. That's a bug frag. We skip this. BMD, it's a very useless mini energy. After this cutscene, we run over and we grab a fan. Go back. Run up. Over to the clouds, skip a cutscene. Two cutscenes, actually. Now, for this, what I'm about to do is going to look strange. However, because it looks devil may care. Like, I just don't care whether I get hit by the gas clouds or not. That's not true. There's a setup where when you're being pushed by this cloud over to the other platform, if you buffer down, left, and the run button of B, you will run through every time. Just like that. Get this. This will allow us to eventually set Gate Man as our regular chip. Now, if you're new to running, you can save here. Later on, you probably won't because that's slower. You'll just run in to kill Airman. He was kind. And that's Airman. We skip some cutscenes. Now 
finally talk to the ice bed. Then we log into the piano. Or the phone. We get some money. Then we log out. Go home. Now, at the end of each day, when Lan goes to sleep, you have the option to save. Technically, this is faster than saving by the menu, however, there's no point in the run where it's really useful. So, for example, if you die, and you go back to a save point that's from Lan... Actually, no, I take that back. There is one instance where it's useful, and that is leading into the free span scenario when Lan returns from Nettopia. Uh, there, it might be advantageous to reload a sleep save than a regular save, if you made a mistake. Otherwise, you will press no. I'm going to save, because I'm going to come back and do another chapter, which is Quickman's. But this is Airman Scenario. Not too bad. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next chapter of this guide.